What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Evan. And tonight, I'm outside of the Hard Rock. Before I even start this video, first off, I want to say uh, Happy New Year to everybody. I know we're already into February at this point. Wow, it's going by so fast. But, uh, but yeah, I haven't made a video in a while, so I do apologize for that. Um, if you do want to keep up with me, you can always subscribe to my channel as well as find me on Twitter and Instagram. But yeah, I'm back. Happy New Year. Hopefully you had a good one, nice safe one. And tonight's video is actually a very special one to me, a little, a little bittersweet because I'm here at the Hard Rock, as I mentioned, because they are celebrating the last great party. In case you haven't heard, the Hard Rock has been bought out by Virgin. So next year, by this time, Virgin will be the owners of this establishment. And it's bittersweet because, you know, in Las Vegas, things are constantly changing, getting updated, bought out, whatnot. But before I even moved here, I had had a number of great memories with my friends here at the Hard Rock. So I am gonna be doing a little special shout outs and whatnot um, to them, you know, because like I said, it is a special video to me because this place has meant uh, a lot to me in the past few years. Um, and we're gonna do a walkthrough. I've never been to a casino closing. Um, there was a little, there was a toast, a final toast earlier this evening, which unfortunately I wasn't able to attend. I'm a little bummed about that. So let's go see what things are looking like and check out what they've got going on. different I mean it's a little bit more empty and there's kind of photo spots here and there this one says I party till the end oh yeah checking out some stuff from the great purple one so I'm not too sure what this was but it's nothing now it's empty so strange this used to be I guess like a gift shop maybe I don't know I don't remember this place this wasn't a place that I'd gone to let's go check out the steakhouse and see what that looks like well, I just walked by the MB steak and I'm also now by the oyster bar those are still going still running basically how they would be going on a normal Saturday night so yeah, there's a lot of people here too. I'm actually kind of surprised. Uh, there looks to be like a band. I'm gonna go check that out. We wanna see you. Most importantly, we wanna feel you, all right? Whether you know, otherwise, or not. Whether you know Las Vegas, or the Hard Rock, or the Center Bar, or not. Whether you like what you hear right now, or not. You know what I'm saying? Second chance, here we go. One more game, one more game. My heart's broken, but it won't stop beating. Outside of Vanity Nightclub over here. I'm not gonna go check it out. Probably not a lot going on, but I do want to give a special, very, very, very special shout out to my girl Kylie. Thank you for dancing with me. So right now I am actually passing Mr. Lucky's. Which, if you were familiar with this place, they did the 777 steak steak special. So you could get a $7.77 steak if you join the Players Club. Another special shout out right now 
to my homies Anthony, Manning, and Sonia. That was a hell of a trip. So I'm outside of vinyl here at Hard Rock. As you can see, there's a show going on behind me, The Growlers. They are playing the last few nights here uh, because things do close tomorrow and all shows have been sold out. There's a few bottles missing from there. I guess they're running out of things. In course in Las Vegas, you have to have some Elvis memorabilia. So I am now outside of the joint. This was Hard Rock's like big venue. Anyone from the Foo Fighters, no doubt, Nine Inch Nails, you name it. If they were a big enough name, there's a good chance they played it here at the joint. The Hard Rock has been a part of the Las Vegas landscape for the past 25 years. So yeah, there's been a lot of big names that have come through this place. And another special shout out to my GWD crew. You guys rock. I like how Mick, that picture of Mick is like, don't take a photograph, don't videotape me. Uh, I am now at the Center Bar, Center Bar here at Hard Rock. It is busy in there, so I am a little right outside of it. This is where the toast was earlier, so in true Las Vegas fashion, cheers Hard Rock. Thank you for the past 25 years, thank you for the memories, and uh, another shout out to Laura and Bobby. Thank you guys for partying with me. All right, I'm gonna do a real quick drink here. Got the woo woo. Oh my God, it's strong and it tastes like, it tastes like NyQuil. It tastes like NyQuil, but hey, it's one of the specialty cocktails that they have for this weekend. So I think we're just about done here. Do a real quick rundown after I'm done with this thing. So I just finished up here at the Hard Rock and I have to say I'm really glad I got to attend the last great party because it was awesome. What a great send out. There were multiple stages. I know I only showed kind of one, but it was nice going through and seeing how for the most part, it was a big party atmosphere. You know, if you didn't know that they were closing, you would think that it was just a normal Saturday night here at the Hard Rock, which is awesome. What better way to go out? 25 years, that's a long time, especially in this town. And once again, I know I said it earlier, but thank you, Hard Rock, for the memories. I really appreciate it. And Virgin, looking forward to making new memories with you as well. So if you like this video and have any suggestions of other places I should check out, or if you like my other videos, give me a like and subscribe. It keeps you up to date with what's going on and what sort of videos I'm posting here about Las Vegas and my different travels. Once again, this is your boy, Evan. Peace out. See you guys next time on another episode of Mr. E's in Las Vegas.